Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I'm working on my 2006 Pontiac GTP. Um, I have a, the issue to where the check engine light is on and the stability track light and the traction control light are all on. I done some research online and they said they could all the lights could all be on due to the timing adjuster magnet, which is this thing right here. So I bought another one of those and installed it and the check engine light was still on. The check engine light that was um, popping up on my code reader was a P0010. Um, according to the internet, this replacing this should have fixed the problem, but my check engine light was still on. That's the only code that I'm having right now. So let me go ahead and show you all where that the timing adjuster magnet is and this also is the 3.9 liter so the timing adjuster magnet is right that little connection right there is where it goes in I had to remove the the engine mount sitting right there um, I had to support the engine with jack in order to get that off. It's, uh, it's held on by three, uh, I believe it's uh, uh, T-Torx uh, number 35 in order to get that off. But after I replaced that, the issue still persisted. So, I actually went on the underside and... Give it just a second. So right underneath here it's kind of hard to get underneath here this is the um, the passenger side on the side where all the engine pulleys are and everything so those wires right there are the ones running up to the part I just showed a second ago which is the timing adjuster magnet which I showed you that I just replaced um, but when I was looking at it those the wires right there were actually melted and touching I think it's from the heat of the engine or something like that so I'm gonna see how I can get to those get them disconnected and reconnect in some wires that I had actually picked up from the junkyard. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Yeah, those wires right there. They were all melted and crusty and they were actually touching. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up from the junkyard that we're going to be replacing those with. Here is... Here are the wires that I picked up from the junkyard. Um, this goes to the magnetic uh, timing adjuster. I got the whole... Hopefully this is enough wire. And this, let me go ahead and show you where it goes. So there is one screw that actually is supposed to hold this on. Is that screw right? It's the screw right there that I'm gonna have to undo and hopefully I'll be able to get those wires out. And I'll be back once it's completed. All right, so I'm back. I have installed the the one I got from the junkyard down there. Right there, I got it connected. Uh, this is actually the one I took off. And as you can see, those are the wires right there that were actually just, the plastic is actually just 
riddle so it just pretty much breaks up they are the wires are showing and everything um go ahead and show you the underside how i got it hooked up all right so here's the underside like i said i'm on the passenger side of the vehicle um, and that I went ahead and put a protector on it so that way it keeps some of that heat away from it and I tied it in right that's where I spliced it in at and put um and put butt connectors on there all right so Go ahead and go back up top. Alright, so here we are on top. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the, the air box and air box tube that runs across there. And then we'll get to starting the vehicle. Alright, so I had also disconnected the negative battery terminal. That way the check engine light could go ahead and reset. And that way when I start it, all the lights would be off. So... Now that I have everything connected, I'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle. So, here we go. Alright, so the vehicle's running now. Um, obviously, it was already running before I started this, but uh, the check engine light was on and the traction control light and stability light was on. I still see the, looks like stability track. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button right here and see. Okay. So. No matter how much I press that, it's not doing anything up there. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Alright. So, the traction control just came back on. Alright. So, uh, that didn't have any... The, those wires obviously didn't have anything to do with the uh, traction control sensor. But we're going to see if the check engine light comes back on. But I'm also going to plug up my scanner real quick and just see if the code pops up while the while the vehicle is in the um, if the if the code is still programmed in the in the computer in the car. So I just plugged up the scan tool uh, computer. The uh, check engine light is still off, so we're gonna go ahead and get over to the codes. And we're just going to see if if it's reading any codes while there is no check engine light. This vehicle has no fault codes. So So there's nothing coming up on there right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let the vehicle uh, warm up for a while. And typically, I've, I've reset the check engine light on it before. But normally it'll come 
uh, it'll turn back on after about 20 minutes of running so if it turns back on I'm probably gonna take it for a test drive or something like that and I will turn the camera back on and let you all know if it comes back on or if it stays off all right so I'm back now um, I've let the car run for about an hour and the check engine light has not come back on so I'm feeling pretty confident that that was the cause of what was causing the P0010 code to show up and I just wanted to say that so the P0010 code is actually the crankshaft position actuator circuit or you might say sensor uh, but if you actually go to buy the if you tell uh, an auto parts store that you need the crankshaft position actuator which is the part that I showed earlier that I replaced they do not that name does not come up in their computer like I said uh, I end up having to do a whole bunch of research when I was buying that part and it's listed as a timing adjuster magnet but like I said I didn't end up needing that part I did already have it installed so it is already on the vehicle but my issue was the frayed wires. So all I had to do was fix those and I do no longer have the check engine light. So hopefully this helped y'all out and if it did, please give it a like and it would really help if you subscribe. Anyway, thank you and have a great day.